Shalom. Before I get started, I want to say, call her alarm la. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechak Kodash, which means give our praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, which is our Lord and Savior, and to the Holy Spirit. The Thumb Master Nakabah, La Hazikarim, Shayas Allah, which means give the bonus to the elders of Israel, which is the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and will wear. And Shalom wa Ahala Bachaya Shayas Allah, which means peace and love to the leg of Israel. And come back again. Do the spit power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, Bashem, Rechav Kodash, with another lesson on the Buddha Adna from Jamesh Memphis Count. And um, this lesson will be on the Psalm of the Day, which you can see is Psalms 137 and 9. Happy should he be that take it and dash it, that little ones, against thy stones, right against the stones. So I'm just going to get into it a little willing. This lesson be edifying to the left. So I'm going to get it right here in the blue letter. I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. Right? The children of Edom is Esau, you know, the Edomites, the so-called white people, you know. It says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation of earth, right? This is what they said when we was going into um, captivity, the Babylonian captivity, you know. So NLT said, Oh Lord, remember what the Edomites did on the day on the day the armies of Babylon captured Jerusalem, destroyed the year, leave it leave it to the ground. Right. So they would just basically that I died for. So let's get the um, the book of Obadiah, the book of Esau, starting at ten. It said, For that violence against thy brother Jacob Shame should cover thee, right? <laughs> it said, and thou shall be cut off forever. In the day, in the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the, in the day that the strangers carry away captive his forces and foreigners and enter into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem, even thou was a, as one of them, right? So they help for the affliction, as it says, Zechariah uh, 1 and 15. So what it say, um, verse 12, but thou shouldest not have look on the day of that brother in the day that he became a stranger, neither shouldest thou have rejoiced over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither shouldest thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Right? This is what they have done. No, raise it, raise it. No, destroy it, you know. Um, in the NLT, said so you should not have glad it was going to um, delight, you know, rejoicing. They said when they, as as our your relatives to di distant lands, right? Because Esau is our brother, you know, uh, Genesis, Jacob, and Esau. You see, but he broke that brotherly covenant. Is it uh, Amos one and eleven? You can read down on, on your own, you know. So Esau broke that brotherly um, covenant, man. It says, you should not have rejoiced when the people of Judah suffer such misfortune. And the, the uh, people of Judah, you know, the so-called Negroes, you know, and uh, the Haitians, uh, the Jamaicans, the, uh, you know, the um, West Indians, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, man, you know, the Southern Kingdom, ultimately, man. So that's what they done. They rejoiced that I died for. It said, you should not have spoken arrogantly in the time uh, in that terrible time of trouble. So going back to uh, um, read 13, it said, Thou shouldest not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yeah, thou shouldest not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor have laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Right? It said, um, Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his to cut off those of his that did escape, neither should they have delivered up those of of his that did remain in a day of distress. Right? Cause you got, you know, Jake was, you know, fleeing it, you know, trying to escape from um, the Babylonian captivity. But you got Esau right there in the way, helping um, uh, the um, the Babylonians out, man. Like I said, NLT, you you should not have stood at the crossroads, killing those who tried to escape. You should not have captured the survivors. And handing them over in a terrible time of trouble, right? <laughs> you see? Here we are, we're trying to escape the Babylonian captivity. You right there, you know? 
killing us or hand us, us uh, over, man. You see? So, um, going back to Psalms 137, verse 7. It said, Remember, O Lord, the church of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, right? Destroy it, destroy it, man. Even to the foundation of it. It said, uh, verse 8. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Right, this Babylon speaking about America. Babylon the Great, who is destined to be destroyed, man. You see? Who is destined to be destroyed. Real quick. Let's let get um, Ezekiel 25. Because Esau was happy as hell at our downfall, man. Ezekiel 25 and 6. For thus said the Lord of, of Yahweh, because that has kept, it's like because that has clapped. Thy hands and stamp with the feet and rejoice in heart with all that this despite against the land of Israel. Right? You cheer, you know, you cheer it on. Destroy, destroy it, raise it, raise it, man. You know? It was happy, you know, when we when we was um going to captivity. It said, Behold, therefore I will stretch out my hand upon thee and will deliver thee for a spoil to the heathen, and I will cut thee off from the people, and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries, and I will destroy thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, right? You see? So the Lord going to judge you for that, man. You're not going to escape, you know? You're going to be destroyed. And best believe, America, Babylon the Great going to be destroyed, man. And we're going to rejoice at, uh, at Babylon the Great, you know? When America be destroyed, we're going to rejoice. So we ate again. It say, um, O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be. Right, we're going to be happy, man. You know, when the Lord uh, um, bring judgment upon you, man. You see? Happy shall he be, the reward thee is that has served us. Right, payback, man. You see, it said, oh, N-O-T, O Babylon, you will be destroyed. Right, Babylon the great, America. Happy is the one who pays you back for what you have done to us. Right, all the rape, rob, murder, you know, you done to us, you know. And, and the scripture saying, what's the Genesis? Gas, gas should overcome it uh, at the last. You know, hey, we going to win at, uh, at the last, man. We going to rejoice, man. The Lord going to pay you devils back, you know? Red Crip. So back 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy. In the tent, I will utter with my tongue. A man that had joy of his children. Guess what? We not... <laughs> Come on, man. We in captivity, man. I man, we not with um rejoicing, you know. It, 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 you know, at our church, we not having joy of our church, man. They catching hell, you know. You devil want to, you know, stick them up with the juice, you know. They in captivity too, man. You see, they so come on, man. You know, it's a a man that had joy of his children, and he. Delivered to see the fall of his enemy, right there. And he delivered to see the fall of his enemy, man. And Lord willing, we can see that. Lord willing, I can see that, man. See the destruction of our enemy, man. It said the righteous should rejoice. You know what? I grab that real quick in the book of Psalms 58 and 20. Because we're going to be happy too, man. <laughs> this place got to go. Psalms 58. And ten, the righteous shall rejoice when he should, when he see the vengeance. Right, we gonna rejoice, man. We gonna be saying more fire, you know, more fire, more fire. <laughs> it said he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Exactly, man. So we gonna rejoice. We gonna be happy, man. You know, when the Lord pay you devils back, man. Let grab the book of Revelations real quick, eighteen to twenty. It said, rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. For the most high had avenged you on her, right? And the teacher rejoice over her fate. Come on, man. Fate going to what? Destiny, future. Come on, man. <laughs> going back to what? Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Lord. Yeah, remember, O Lord, the church of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, Raise it, raise it. Even to the foundation of old daughter Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, right? Who is destined to be destroyed. So we're going to be, be rejoiced. We're going to be happy when the Lord, you have us on my side, dis destroy you, man. You know, put you in change, man. You know, we're going to rejoice at, at that, man. You know, we're going to be happy at your destruction, you know, when you go into captivity. When you on our feet, man. You know, we're going to rejoice, man. It's a sin. It's a righteous thing 
Second Thessalonians 1 and 6. It says, Sin it is a righteous thing with the most high to repent tribulation to them that trouble you. Right. So we're going to be happy, man. It said, In his justice, he will pay back those who persecute you, man. You know? So Psalms 137 and 9, you know, that, um, um, some of the day, <laughs> happy should be that take it and dash that little ones against the stones, right? The same thing you done to us, you know, and, and, and uh, slavery, you know, cut out women, uh, stomach open to see if it's a male or female, you know, you stomp on their heads, you know, all the things you done to us in slavery, pick a nigga, where you get the word picnic from, you know, All, uh, what's that, alligator um, bait. Hey, we're going to be happy. We're going to do the same thing what you've done to us, but we're going to be in righteousness, man. You know? We, we go, everything going to be done in righteousness, man. You see? Everything going to be done in righteousness, man. And, and this, hey, let's grab Ezekiel. It going to be uh, done according to the Lord's anger, man. Ezekiel 25 and 12. Thus said the Lord, your house by Shemashah, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah, but taking vengeance, and had greatly offended, and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus said the Lord, your house by I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and will make it desolate from teeming. And day of the dawn shall fall by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom, by the hand of my people Israel. Right? You see? And they should do it eat them according to my anger. Why well, it gonna be the anger of the Lord, you know, doing this in vote on Psalms 137 9. You know, the Lord's anger, Yahweh Shama Shah anger gonna be in us, man. You see? He gonna be in us to pay you devils back, man. You know? It say our heart should meditate um uh, uh, uh tell in the book of uh, what's that Isaiah the third, third chapter. So it say um and that shit doing eat them according to my anger and according to my fear. Right. We need the Lord's anger to take, you know, the devil's baby, you know, and dash to the stones, man. You know? <laughs> it said, and they should know my vengeance, said the Lord, you have us my shot. Right. We go, you going to know it, man. That this is according to the Lord's anger, man. You know? And we're quick. Revelation 18 and, um, and 6. Let's start the five. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High had remembered her iniquities, reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works. Right? You're gonna be double. You're gonna you're gonna be paid back double, man. You know. And the cup which she had filled filled to her double. Right? The cup is what slavery, slavery, man. A thousand years of hardcore slavery, man. Now after that, you you done. You right? You you gone out of the earth. You know. You should perish forever, man. You see? So, hey, that cup, hey, you gonna drink of that cup, Esau. You know? So, hey, Lord, when I wish I edified you going on that, the sum of the day, happy shall he be, that take and dash the that little ones against the storms, right? And we gonna rejoice at that, man. You know, and this gonna be done in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? And the Lord gonna come back and destroy Babylon the great America, man. You know? Take you out of rulership and sell us because we up next. Yeah, how a shot is up next. The kingdom of, uh, of Israel is up next. It's like Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it, man. So we gonna rejoice. We gonna be happy, man. It's an eye for eye. You know, let's end it right there. You know, I know I said I'm gonna end it, but this Revelation 13 and 9 and 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Why you got ears, so listen up, man. You know. It said, he that lead it into captivity should go into captivity. And that's, and that's plain. And it said, anyone who is destined for prison will be taken to prison. And guess what? All you devils about to go into slavery, man. Every last one of you, man. All you Edomites, man. You know? Every last one of you. Also to you uh, other nations as well. You Hemites, you or Ishmaelites, Ammonites, you uh, Moabites. You know? All the heathens about to go into captivity, Jeremiah 30 and 16, man. But, hey, especially you Edomites, man. He said, he that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. And here is the patience and the faith of the saints, right? You know, we patiently wait on that day, man. <laughs> you see? We patiently wait on that day. You know, we can't do it now. We got to wait on the Lord to do that, man. He going to do that, man. Because we going to be the next uh, superpowers... In, in, uh, in the earth, man. 
you know, the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, so Lord willing, once again, I want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Bacha Kodash, the bonus to the apostles and elders of great men's known who teach and we well. And peace and love to the elect.